Right then, hello and welcome back to Toka Race Driver 3 as we get ready for tier at number 16. I've already counted the votes from the poll and uh, we already have a clear winner. So in last place, thank you very much by the way, uh, was the 4x4 Monster Series which only had 8% of the vote which is good because we can get out of the way very very quickly i do not like the 4x4 monster trucks they are pretty naff uh in second place was the super truck international series with 31 percent of the vote but winning with 61 percent of the vote is of course the 60s gt um this is also coming up to the halfway point in the world tour there's 32 tiers and we're already at tier 16 uh so yeah i may take a little break at the halfway point uh because i've been doing a lot of talk of race driver 3 and a, a bit of a break now and again you know just refreshes the batteries a little bit and it doesn't get too monotonous and stagnant so um yeah with that though we're going to get on with the 4x4 monster series it's going to be exactly the same as it was before we're in the thunder mountain and we have two races this time of three and two laps we have the national dirt raceway stage three and the national dirt raceway stage five Ooh. anyway the rules and regulations end six trucks are going to be on the grid black black and white flags as always points go down to fifth place and at least the points do matter this time because there's more than one race right then so we have to finish second or above in this championship yes it's getting a little bit more difficult usually it was finished fourth or above then third now it's second and there's going to come a time when we have to finish first and uh yeah that's going to be great fun anyway m and b motors then uh, 3,732 kilograms, so it's three and a bit tons, 1,500 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in five seconds. Wonderful. Right, let's get race number one underway. And off we go. Not really, because these championships are fairly simple enough. When you're not getting bashed out of the way by everybody else. Come on, excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, the thing is, I've mentioned before in the comments, is that these trucks, they have no weight to them at all. They feel very floaty. And I think that's what puts me off about them, because usually if you have monster trucks, they're, they're hefty beasts, you know, it's three and a half tons. So they're not going to float around as much as, say, as the little buggies, but the buggies have more weight to them than these do which is uh, very unfortunate on the plus side you can fling them into the corners I know I'm out in front I've been out in front literally since halfway through lap number one Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, look at the lead we got already. Miles ahead. And I have remembered to turn back on the simulation handling and everything else, so... Uh, yep, it's all well and good. And there we go. Yep, and that is race one complete. And there we go then. So we got a maximum 1,000 points so far. A bit confusing as they didn't put the points all the way down to sixth place. It just cuts off with uh, fifth place there. But oh well. We win by 4.7 seconds over Turville and Muster in third. And they are the total points exactly the same. But we don't have to worry about that because we're going to win this race anyway. So Dirt Raceway stage number five. Two laps this time. And away we go. Right, let's squeeze past you dweebs if I can. Excuse me. Nice bit of air. Yep. Yeah, we don't have really have to worry too much um, because you can see on the jumps there, the little the whoop section. Um, the AI don't really take it flat out, but we can because we're not just a bunch of code. Yeah, 
but got some damage to the front wheel or one of the wheels anyway doesn't really do much in the handling department almost at the end of lap number one Yeah, I know, we can do it. We can do it definitely because uh, second in points is not second currently, he's currently third. So even if we finish second, we're still going to win the championship, but we're not going to settle for second place. We want the out and out victory. Get some good air, and again. See, you know, if that was real, monster trucks, you know, wouldn't feel this floaty over massive jumps. You know, you do see them that they do fly quite heavily, but... Shut up with your complacency. Uh, yeah, they do fly, but I mean... Surely they shouldn't feel this floaty. It is like that you've got a, a cheat code on with, like, half the gravity. But, oh well. One more corner. And there we go. A clean sweep of the 4x4 Monster Series. Indeed. And we are done. And there we go then. A nice clean sweep of both races. We win in the end by 2.8 seconds over Williams. And Turvo again was third. 6.16 6 seconds adrift. So we get the maximum at 2,000 over 1,700 and 1,500 for the top three. Meadows, unfortunately, gets zero points. And there we go. Impressive. You've completed the 4x4 Monster Series. Nice drive. Thank you very much. And coming up in Tier 17, then, we have the Rear Wheel Drive Anniversary Rally. We have the 1960s Grand Prix. Or we have the HPDC V8 Supercar Series again. Uh, so... As always, I will put another poll up in the community tab. Vote for what you want me to do first, second, and third. Uh, the one with the lowest votes goes first, the one with the highest goes last. Same as always. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it here. And I will be back next time then for Championship 2 in Tier 16 is the Super Truck International Series. Before we cap it off with the 1960s GT. So thank you very much for watching as always. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.